So as a coach, let's go through and take a look at some of your candidates and how you can review their sites. The one I'm going to choose is John Smith because I have the most information about him. As soon as an, a candidate has been assigned to you, you'll be able to see their contact information and everything here. And so you can click on their face or their picture or even there's the little box that's supposed to be there and it'll take you to their actual profile. And now you can see all the information they see <clears throat> and actually the information that they're going to be entering in and how that works. So first, let's take a look at John's profile. You'll see, just like yours, you've got all the information of where he is. But you will notice that you will not be able to edit his profile. Only he can do that, or we can. If you want to contact him, if you click Contact, it provides you a place where you can actually email him and message him from this. Useful. All of the documents below will explain as we go through this process, but here's most of this are most of these are administrative documents, their enrollment form, some of the agreements that they actually make by participating in CASC, verification of employment which is required by the CTC, and some information about their assessments that are available to them and any type of application activities that they do from the PD, those will be loaded there. In addition, we have coaching logs. These are the things that you will literally actually update. I'll show you that in, an, in another area here shortly. So these will be listed by date of when you actually uploaded them. And these dates should not necessarily be uploaded upload dates. They should be dates of when you met. So I possibly met with John on 426, 413, and you'll put those in. I'll show you that shortly. Another key area of their profile is the individual leadership plans. And so you'll be able to... The candidate will develop this in conjunction with you, and we'll talk a little bit about that and what that looks like shortly. But when you look at this, here are the actual action plans, and down here you'll see whether or not they've achieved each one of the action steps. So you've got a green check mark if they have, kind of an orange square if they haven't. If you go to the actual ILP, you'll see what their current reality is. It's in this case the administration's completely changed, and how am I going to actually make it through this process? So they would have a SMART goal, goal to make it through the end of the year. In this case, they have specific action steps that they would they would set associated with this current reality and goal. Now, in this case, John's only got two, but you may have multiple goals. As they go through and attain those, generally they'll go in, edit this, and put it in as attained. But you could if you if you really wanted to, but it would be more appropriate to allow them to be able to do that. So you'll be able to see how that works and for each one of these individual leadership plans they'll be listed below here you may have multiple because you may be focusing on multiple um, DOPS or multiple standards from the capsules how many of these are here will be determined in conversations that you have with your candidate but this is a great place to track progress on activities and make sure that they're actually doing what they need to be doing over here, you've got some documents. Again, these are the very same documents you saw on the profile. Here you also have some PD activity information and anything that John is actually registered for. Now, one of the things that's important for you as a coach to know is that under John Smith's events, as John attends these events, he will receive uh, a green check mark to say, yes, he has, he has attained it or been there. If he does not attend it for some reason, he will get a red X that will tell us that you know he missed this or did not show up. There are certain requirements under CASC that the candidates must participate in at least two of the two of the three cohort coaching meetings every single year, and they have to participate in or three out of the four cohort coaching meetings, excuse me, and two out of the three professional developments. And so they, this is a way for you to track to make sure they're actually keeping on track where they need to be. So you can take a look at that and help them and encourage them as they're going through this process to know where, when and where they should be places.